This lesson is my go-to beginner guitar lesson, where we finally start to get into some open position chords and a little bit of strumming. The strumming pattern is one of those kind of great ones that you just sort of hear in so many different bands and so many different genres, and gives us a chance to start to kind of get that pat in your head and rub it in your stomach sort of thing you have to get going on on the guitar, where we've got two different hands, you know, doing two completely different things, that you can't be actively thinking about either of them at the same time, or you won't be able to play it. It's also another point where a lot of beginner guitar players start to get really frustrated, so hopefully I'll be able to give you some uh, ideas and uh, ways of kind of minimizing that frustration. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so we're going to be using the verse of Brown Eyed Girl here to really get a chord progression and some strumming going on. So our chord progression is going to be G, C, G, and then to D. Then from there it repeats. So G, C, G, and D. Now a G chord, I usually start by building it with most of my beginner students with your third and fourth fingers playing the third fret on the first and second string. So put your pinky, third fret, first string, ring finger on third fret, second string. Then your middle finger or second finger is going to reach across and grab second, or I'm sorry, grab third fret on the sixth string, and then finally your first finger grabs second fret on the fifth. So that gives us three, three, open, open, two, and then three. So that's a G major chord. There's a couple different forms. You could see it played like this. It could be played like this. There's a couple different ways. This is the one that we're going to be doing. So that was third fret, second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. The next chord is C major. So C major is going to be your first finger grabbing first fret on the second string. 2nd finger grabbing 2nd fret on the 4th string, and then 3rd finger grabbing 3rd fret on the 5th. So that gives us open 1st, 1st fret on the 2nd, open 3rd, 2nd fret on the 4th, 3rd fret on the 5th. Then from here we're back to G in our chord progression. And then what you want to do is do a pivot move. And so what I mean by that is I'm going to leave these two fingers down. I'm going to pick up first and second. My first finger goes to second fret on your third string. Then my middle finger goes to second fret on the first. So that was first finger, second fret, third string, second finger, second fret, first, and then you have to get your pinky out of the way so that you can hear the F sharp note up top. Now with this chord you've got an option. You could either play five, four, open, open, and then the third, second, and first strings, which we're fretting, or just four down. I like to add in the fifth a lot. Makes the chord sound a little bit bigger. Kind of matches the other chords. So that was G, which was third fret, second fret, open, open, third, third. C, which was third fret, second fret, open, first, open. And then we go to G, three, two, open, open, three, three and then the pivot move to D. So I'm moving those fingers to, or first finger to second fret on the third string, second finger to second fret on the first, and get your pinky out of the way. And then you can play five and four open, and then three, two, one. So G, C, G, and D. And that's the verse of Brown Eyed Girl. 